Hey everyone, so I made a huge mistake yesterday that cost me around 10 hours of work. So basically, I made a loadout video, I posted it, but I forgot to add one of the attachments for the most important guns. And then I was like, it's okay, I'll delete the YouTube video, go back to my files and just add a picture and do it again. Only to realize that I deleted all the footage, all the voiceovers, all the gameplay footage, and all the pictures so basically 10 hours of work just disappeared like that so this is me just redoing the video in the quickest way possible so for the long range meta we have two good weapons and two honorable mentions first of all we got the sva 545 this is the meta build unless you have the attachment glitch and you were able to save it before where you can have like up to eight attachments yes it shows something completely different here but in game it's going to be eight attachments the sad news is this weapon is a pea shooter at range that's the problem with it but if you switch it to single fire and burst fire it, it literally has zero recoil. Now the best mid and long range weapon is the same one from last season, which is the SOA Subverter. This is the build I use, it has some kick to it, but if you strafe and try to control the recoil, you will get used to it with time. If you want, you can switch to the Jack BFB or the Zemin or the TY LR8 or the Cosmos Rake and the recoil will be much less if you don't want to practice it. As for the honorable mention, the MCW got buffed for like six or seven times, but it's still a pea shooter. Like, I don't see a reason why I should use this instead of the SOA if I can practice my recoil. But this is the build that I was using. And we have the new AR, the BAL 27. It shoots faster as you hold down the trigger and it has a lot of recoil. Sadly, I don't see it being better than the MCW at the mid and long ranges. It's more for a close range uh, resurgence type of gun. You know, if you want to run an SMG and then a close range AR, that's the best it can be. I don't see it dominating the meta in any way, shape, or form. Sadly, the long-range meta is kind of stale and it's becoming a close-range meta game, and which is not a first time as well. But for the close-range meta, we have a lot of options, so this is where it's gonna be really fun. First of all, of course, I have to mention the MCW with a conversion kit. It has a really high time to kill, but even before this update, everybody knew that it was great in time to kill-wise, but the mobility is trash, even though I made the attachments in a way just to make it even more mobile. You, never, you will never see it being used as an actual primary SMG because of that reason, because CTK is not the only important factor. Now, a better option would be the BP-50 with a conversion kit. It has the time to kill, it has the mobility, and it's actually a really great weapon. The only thing I would say about it is that it uses AR ammo just like the MCW with the conversion kit, and that might be a problem, especially in ranked, because you will shoot a lot and hold a lot of power positions and sometimes you will run out of ammo. Now for the SMGs that are actually SMGs, after the HRM nerf, finally, we have the WSP9 taking its well-deserved spot. The only thing I would say about this weapon is it has a slow fire rate and which is normal because it shoots very high damaging bullets and this is probably now the top three in terms of SMGs that are actually SMGs. After that, we have the Striker 9 with three different builds. This is my full mobility build. I put the no stock and then I compensate for that with the Zemin 35 muzzle. That way it eliminates the visual recoil and there will be a small kick to it and that's all. But if you want the best of both worlds, use this build because it has great damage at range, it has great mobility and almost zero recoil. As for the last build for the Striker 9, it's this one that is dedicated to the tactical stance fire. As you can see with this build and this weapon specifically, I'm gonna put them on three plates. Look at how accurate this weapon is. It started off as a meme build, but this is actually highly viable. And in first place, we got the striker that got a massive buff to its damage at range. And since it doesn't shoot really fast, but really slow, like the WSP9, its recoil is controllable. So in this case, I put the no stock and this is good for mobility and damage at range at the same time and don't need to have a secondary type of loadout for it. And now for the build that made me have to redo everything, it's the Grosso, which is the DG58 LSW LMG. With the conversion kit and these attachments, this weapon is just frying everybody, guys. Like, it was already great and it was a sleeper build, but I don't know what they did to it this season, but look. The only thing I would say is don't shoot where the iron sights are because the bullets, like, if my iron sight is right here, the bullets are a little bit under it. I don't know why. I need, they need to fix that. It's not like that in the fighting range, but when I'm shooting it and in Warzone, sometimes it feels inconsistent. I don't know if it's a bug or it's just me tripping. Now, with what's going to be practical and actually beneficial for you, if you want to use an SMG that uses AR bullets, go with the Groza or the BP-50. I personally prefer the Groza, which is the DG-58. But if you don't want to do that, go with the same order that I said. Striker, then Striker 9, and then WSP-9. As for the long range, I hope Call of Duty tries to do something because the skill gap is just becoming less and less 
especially after nerfing the snipers. I don't know who they are listening to or what they're doing, but this is how the state of the game is right now.